Hey there folks, Will here over to fxace.com. First big welcome to the video. So we're now officially in spring 2018. 21st of March today. And I'm going to start looking at some trade setups. So a trade that I talked about in yesterday's uh, Facebook Live and YouTube Live webinar was on the Euro uh, British Pound. Uh, this is the move here. You can see for quite a long time now, I've been moving sideways here in the daily charts. Every time it comes down into this area, it pops back up. And it is quite a, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten bearish days in a row. This is the trade we took two weeks ago, a sell trade actually on the up here. And our target was down here, which was hit. Nice move. So again, I'm just going to play this range again. And I've just been waiting on the signals. I talked about what was going to happen yesterday and what it was going to look for was I know we've had the initial pop up here but the second move down here which happened there so a second move down and then a pop back up if we look at the the one hour charts you can see if had this was what I talked about yesterday I said it was going to drop dropped and this is where I was looking to get in here so we've got the divergence signal I've entered both my food positions on the trade so I'm in my food and I entered half the position here and my second half down here on this divergence there about a few minutes ago. So I'm in the food position now and my target is first easy target should hit this for a day trade up towards 88. But my target is way up here at 89. So we'll see how that goes. Coming days, what up is the trade? Anything else happening? Euro USD. Again, Euro USD is coming back down in this range. We talked about this. Comes up here and coming back down here. So we're just in this sideways movement on it. It's actually taken out that price zone there. So the next target is this area down here towards 121,900. Uh, we have a lot of big news this week interest rates, etc. So the markets could be moving. Just have a look at the US dollar. Again, it's the complete opposite of the pound. It's just moving side or sorry the euro moving sideways. Again, I talked about this yesterday about it popping back up, and I'm still liking it over the coming weeks to hit 92. This weekly uh, monthly area here, 92 up here. You can see the daily area here. So it's very choppy at the minute. The news this week should, 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 shoulda, woulda, coulda, is the old saying. But the news this week should pop this up here. Alternatively, it breaks down below this weekly area here on the charts. You can see here is holding. That's where we are now. We have the weekly divergence signal here, down here. So again, I'm liking this over the coming weeks up towards 92. <clears throat> see what this week's news brings. USD JPY. Again. Choppy price action here. I like this coming up towards. I want to wait here and then I move back down towards 104. So up here and then I move down. And that will be, just let's zoom in. So, for our charts, just zoom out this for our charts, so what this big line is. Okay. Movement sideways. If you see right, you can see this like falling wedge pattern here, which is a good sign of accumulation before a rally in price. Let me draw it there. It's, it's like a falling wedge pattern. It's just falling. So it could, if this doesn't break out here, break out here to go up higher to that 108 area. 
uh, move back down towards the bottom of this these lows anyway is likely before the interest rate decision comes out so if this doesn't hold at the top of this six sort of wedge here could pop up break above this really line here and we could head towards 108 doesn't do that there back down towards 105 in this 100 pip range USD, USD CAD, USD CAD's approaching some interesting areas. Here on the daily, just missed it at 132,300. That was a good one there. The daily, this uptrend on the daily. These small areas here, you see it's rallying, rallying. This area here is a new area form. So we could get a move from there in the future. Why is a new area form? Just basically because this area caused a new high. If you want to understand why I'm analyzing the markets, you can check out my best selling Udemy course over at Udemy, price action course over at Udemy. But Daily target I'm liking it up coming up towards 132 in the near future. USD card. But a lot of diversion signals are happening in the early chart. And that could have been a four hour. So let's zoom out. <gasps> no. So this isn't the target here I was looking for at 132. Before looking to sell the SD card, hit 131, but didn't go all the way up to 132. So, Euro, Euro cards plummeted. We talked about this last week also. It's deep in a monthly area here. See, this area caused this huge drop down here, and it's just, it just popped up above it. Look at the weekly. Actually popped up and hit a weekly level that was just above that monthly here, the green. So it did popped up at the weekly, and this let's zoom in on the smaller time frames. It's the trade I took last week. You can see the actual nice divergence signals was the trade I took here, but up here, I missed it this week. Cause off Monday I didn't trade. This is one of the trades I missed. As you can see here, popped up nicely. Price action slowly moving and then getting a few, two divergent signals in a row and a nice pop of 1700 pips. Or sorry, 170 pips. So you can see here, end of the weekly, in, deep in the monthly area. First pop touches it and then moves back up slowly, but MACD's giving the signals are coming back down, slowing up. Slow into the momentum. Sellers starting to come into the market. So target here is I will look to get back in on this move. On maybe a pop back up here and then a move back down. And target will be easy target. It will be this first area here. It was caught formed last week at 158 is where it should be going. Hit here, and either move up sideways and start taking out these areas here. So that's a really strong level in the monthly and the weekly. Euro JPY. Some of these areas. Euro JPY. It's in this. Make daily zone, weekly zone down here. Just let's look at the weekly. Okay, so have weekly price action trading zones here. It's because this high comes in, it touches it on the weekly. We have daily areas within the weekly, which was the first second touch here. It's one that we took the other week, deep in the area, and popped up towards.
deep in the weekly, deep in the daily within the weekly. Pops up, first easy target hit at 132. Goes back down. So this could be a good signal to move back up, getting back in on this trade to go to the upside. Basically because if you look at price action here, daily chart comes down. Attempts to go lower with the indicator, so I'll just wait for a divergence signal on this. Get a divergence signal. Or if the day trading system, swing trading system, is giving us any signals. Okay, so we're in the... Just look over to Euro JPY. It's all red here. And see if we're getting any signals coming back in. They get one last week there. Um, yeah, so we've had a daily signal here. So I'm liking to get back on in this move to come back up. Stop loss is just under under here. Let's just let's look at this. Okay. Okay, so I've just taken that trade now on the Euro JPY. Stop loss is gonna be under here. Now target. It's under these lows here and under this weekly zone here at 129. 300 so stop take profit you say i always do the stop loss first take profit is first easy target should be 132 here first easy target second target is up around here 133 500 okay this one's already been hit so the next one above this is 133 so that's the target there first target and We'll see what price action is like on the approach to this area. Okay, so that's a couple of trades I've taken today. I'm in at the minute. Uh, another trade that we talked about yesterday that's I'm in on my big account is the CAD Swiss franc, which is moving super nicely you can see here we took the trade here yesterday live in the room we took it down here and it's already up 60 it's already moved 60 odd pips target of this trade is just look at let's see what i'm talking about here got some nice divergence signals down here coming into this area and a nice pop at this weekly and daily area here so a nice move up towards could be a nice 500 pip move here on the card swiss franc okay so guys so i hope this video helps any questions regarding price action trading don't hesitate to get in contact with me at willwithfxace.com don't forget to head over to udemy check out my price action course it's a best seller already there it's only been up 10 days it's selling like hotcakes as they say people are loving it and you can try risk free for uh, 30 days. So, any questions, get in contact with me at willatthefxace.com. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.